Here the question is about a different counterparty risk. That if you're talking about a forward, talking about a bilateral contract between, between me and somebody else, or in this case, you know, there's the counterparty is, is you know, I, there's a government here, so we're not going to worry about the government, but there is a repo counterparty here, okay? And then here, there's an exchange that is doing margining and so forth, and so you could think that the uh, futures has less risk to it, okay? That you're more, also there's all this sophisticated machinery behind the scenes. You know, this forward, you don't, you don't know, it could be a big bill, right? This big bill at the end, you're never really sure that this guy's going to pay you, okay, until he pays you, okay? <laughs> Whereas the futures contract, you have warning, you know, because there are a lot of little payments, a lot of little payments, okay? And if you miss any one of those little payments, you, you're, 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 you're on guard, okay? So which way does this go now? Let's think about this. Can we sort this out? Which way does this go? If there's more credit risk in the forward, okay, you would, I guess, you would expect, you would want to be compensated with a higher interest rate, okay, which could go. So I think, I think you're right, that that, that that could, that that goes in the right direction to explain a deviation like that. I think that's right. Um, and this is, I don't know, this is characteristic of these debates, okay? That there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a spread there, and the question is, what is it, okay? And, and it's, it, it's quite often possible to say, well, it's counterparty risk or something like that. Um, but it's also possible to say, and this is what I'm, you know, what this course is about, that, well, okay, but let's not jump there too fast, okay? There are actual cash flow differences, and, and you would expect those to be priced. Maybe there's some experiment we can do, or some empirical test we can do, that can sort these things out and say, you know, how much is this, and how much is counterparty risk, and, and how much is the fact of the reinvestment, you know? But this is, you gotta do a lot of work, you know, uh, empirical work to, to separate this out. But it, you, you want to get a whole long list of all the possible things that could drive forwards and futures away from each other, and then, and then do the work, and then do the work. Probably somebody has done the work, people are trading this, and it's not been published because they're making money on it, okay? Uh, but it's not been published, I will tell you, it's not been published in the academic literature. <laughs>